from Sri Lanka and our anger and anxiety on the streets of Sri Lanka. Citizens of the island nation, they're staring at an uncertain future as President Gotabaya Rajapaksa fled the country before quitting from the post of president. Angry citizens, they are demanding Rajapaksa's resignation. They've gathered outside the presidential palace in Colombo. There is unrest on the streets of Colombo, of course, a place that has witnessed dramatic turn of events in the past week. Emergency imposed at present owing to the president's absence in the nation. The speaker's office has also confirmed that Gotabaya Rajapaksa did not appoint an acting president before his departure. Now, for more on this, our correspondent Dasuni Athoda is joining us live from Colombo. Dasuni, what can you tell us about the situation on ground? Of course, there is massive outrage and unrest. What's happening? Yes, ma'am. Well, Sri Lanka is currently under emergency law. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, who earlier said that he will be acting in his capacity as the acting president, did impose an island-wide emergency law, which is now in effect. But as you can see all around me, these are protesters that have gathered outside the official office of the Prime Minister, which is here in Colombo down Flower Road. There are multiple rounds of tear gas that are continuing to be fired, as well as water cannon. The situation is very tense. Um, it was a little more tense before as well, but these protesters are saying that they will just not back down and they want to continue to stay here. Just a couple of meters in front of me is the main entrance to the office of the Prime Minister, which is now heavily guarded by security officials, but the protesters continue to come towards this site. Also earlier, there was a steady inflow of helicopters that uh, circled around this premises, and we also understand that those helicopters were circled. Well, we seem to be having a problem with that line. We will, of course, get Dasuni back online with us for now. Let's just tell you what the updates are. Of course, dramatic escalation of events on the streets of Sri Lanka. The citizens, they are not ready to back down. Once again, we have Dasuni with us. Dasuni, thank you so much for uh, joining us again. I, I can see that there's a lot of chaos on the streets of Colombo. What can you tell us? Well, we will try and get Dasuni back with us. Of course, dramatic escalation of events on the streets of Sri Lanka. You can see the visuals on your screens. These are the visuals coming in from Colombo. Citizens of the island nation, they're staring at an unfuture. They are not ready to back down. They are still demanding the resignation of President Godbaya Rajapaksa, who has fled the country without entering his resignation or appointing an acting a president. However, as of now, in the hours after he fled the country, there is now a state of emergency in Sri Lanka. We will, of course, try and understand what that means for the country going forward and when we can expect a resignation. From reports so far, it has been confirmed to the Speaker's office that he did not appoint an acting president. However, we could expect a resignation once Gautabaya Rajapaksa has reached his final destination. Dasuni, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you. Right, Dasuni. Now, what I want to understand right now is there is a state of emergency. As per what we know so far, we can expect a resignation when President Gotabaya Rajapaksa reaches his final destination. Is there any clarity or word from the acting president on the same? Well, just moments ago, we did receive confirmation again from uh, the Prime Minister's office itself. He said that... Uh, this emergency law that is to be imposed will be given under the directive of an acting president. So, so far, in the absence of President Gotabe Rajapaksa, all eyes will be on uh, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, who will have to take on the role of acting president. But uh, as you can see around me, the protesters uh, continue to stream on. In. And uh, we started this day anticipating uh, an official resignation from uh, the president, President Gotabe Rajapaksa, who has uh, fled the country. But as of right now, there is uh, no confirmation of that letter, which is to be given to the speaker as a uh, welcome. 
Right, Dasuni. Also, I know it's too soon, but is there any plan of action when it comes to a unity government, or what the next steps are going to be from Ranil Vikramasinghe, who has had to now take over as acting president? Well, um, like you mentioned, Pam, it is a little too soon for us to speculate all of these right now because the heat of the moment uh, right now here in this country is this specific uh, location, which is the office of the prime minister. Now, once again in Sri Lanka, we see how political upheaval has once again stalled the stalled the process on the economic policies and talks with the IMF. Once again, we see people out on the streets. They're not ready to back down. They're demanding the resignation. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe has had to take over as the acting president and has also declared a state of emergency. Well, these are all the updates that we have so far. We are also hoping that there will be an official resignation by President Gautabaya Rajapaksa only once he reaches his final destination. From what we know so far, he is going to stop over in the Maldives from there, go to his final destination. Not cl uh, No clarity on that yet either. Well, Ham, uh, there appears to be uh, no clarity as to the exact whereabouts, but there was confirmation earlier on in the morning that uh, the President did in fact leave Sri Lanka in a Sri Lankan Air Force military aircraft. Now, this is also confirmed by the Prime Minister's office earlier on in the morning. So we know for sure that uh, the head of state has left the country. But the question that still remains is, um, has he officially resigned and relinquished his duties as the president of this country? Right, absolutely. Now, the departure of the president who enjoys immunity from the arrest was uh, reportedly also stymied for 24 hours and apparently this was done to avoid detention after stepping down. So, we will uh, get you all the updates on that as and when we find out more about this. Now, Sri Lankan uh, police has resorted to the use of tear gas uh, now dis to disperse the swelling crowd. There's anxiety, there's anger among the demonstrators. They are asking for the resignation of Gautabaya Rajapaksa. Currently, Sri Lanka is in a state of emergency. Ranil Vikramasinghe takes over as uh, the acting uh, president and had declared a state of emergency. Now, hours after President Gautabaya Rajapaksa fled the country, thousands of protesters, they descended onto the streets of Colombo, marching towards the parliament, the prime minister's house, who had to take over as the acting president and also declared a state of emergency. There are now questions on whether or not a President Gautabaya Rajapaksa will tender his resignation after reaching his final destination or not, which is the key demand of the demonstrators here who are not ready to back down. Military personnel, they were seen using tear gas shells to disperse the protesters who scaled the wall to enter Sri Lankan Prime Minister's residence as well. As of now, the Sri Lankan Prime Minister's residence is heavily guarded. You know, over the weekend, we saw massive protests. We saw President Gautabaya Rajapaksa's home being taken over by the protesters. Also, Prime Minister's private residence being burnt completely. We are trying to get our correspondent from uh, Colombo back online or with us for now. Let's just try and understand what happened. Uh, today was the day that President Gautabaya Rajapaksa was expected to step down and tender his resignation to the Speaker. Now, Sri Lanka's President, who had announced that he would resign on Wednesday, he fled the country. From what we know so far, he made his way to the Maldives, that is not his final destination and is expected to resign once he reaches his final destination. After the President fled, a few hours later, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe took over as the acting President and declared a state of emergency in Sri Lanka.
You can see the unrest on the streets right now on the visuals on your screen. Sri Lankan police had then resorted to using tear gas to disperse the protesters here. Now we know that Sri Lanka is currently in the midst of a crippling economic crisis. Once again, we're now being joined by Dasuni from Colombo. And Dasuni, what can you tell us about the situation right now? Well, uh, there seems to be a steady inflow of tear gas that is being fired right now, uh, which is why you see the protesters running for power. Nevertheless, most of them are still very defiant, regardless of the steady rounds of tear gas that is being fired just meters away from me, that they will continue to stay on and protest here. So that is the situation right now. As you can see, uh, towards my right, people are uh, having horses on standby and giving water to those who have been hit by tear gas. But uh, the situation is getting tense. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little further away from the official uh, entrance to the office of the Prime Minister where things are getting uh, heated up and tense right now. Right, Dasuni, also just for more clarity and to break this down for our viewers completely, can you just take us through what has transpired through the day so far and what we can expect going forward? Well, uh, as of right now, it is confirmed that there is a curfew in effect in the Western province that came into effect just a couple of hours ago. Nevertheless, these protesters are defiant of that law. And today, the 13th of July, started off with the entire nation anticipating for President Gotabe Rajapaksa to officially step down. However, all that we know so far is that the head of state, President Gotabe Rajapaksa, has in fact fled the country, but is yet to hand in his official letter of resignation. Right, absolutely. And now we know that Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, who earlier expressed his willingness to step down, has taken over as acting president. Now we also know that there was going to be a transition of government. What can we expect on that front? Do you think Prime Minister, now acting president, Ranil Vikramasinghe, will get the support of an all-party government? Well, that still remains to be seen, given that uh, the focus right now, Hem, is really the tensions that are flaring up here. There seems to be uh, no uh, steady way forward for the political front as of right now. And uh, just moments ago, again, uh, the Prime Minister's office uh, did reach out to say that uh, Prime Minister Anil Vikramasinghe is slated to become the acting president. And uh, in his capacity as acting president is when he will be issuing orders for emergency law. Right, absolutely, Dasuni. Of course, uh, what can you tell us about the situation on ground right now? Well, as you can see on ground right now, we do hear a steady rounds of tear gas that is being fired, but the protesters are defiant. Well, just as I said, uh, there are tear gas canisters that are being thrown this way as well. So, situation is tense. Things are heating up. Uh, protesters are defying a curfew. So, uh, that is the latest here right now. Right, absolutely. Well, um, they are defying the curfew. Also, is there any clarity on when we can expect a resignation or what the final destination for President Gautabaya Rajapaksa is going to be? So it is confirmed that uh, as of the early hours of this morning, President Gotabe Rajapaksa did leave for the Maldives. And according to multiple sources, he is not intending to stay in the Maldives, but rather one of the strongest possible suggestions is that he will be moving towards the UAE as well. So a faction of sources say that the resignation will only come our way uh, after the president lands in his final destination, which is uh, supposed to be the UAE as of right now. Right, absolutely. Once again, to let our viewers know, in a dramatic escalation of events on the streets of Sri Lanka, protesters gathered outside Prime Minister's office in Colombo. This after an emergency was, uh, was imposed in the country. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.